Hello, minders. Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. Well, I got a simple one for you today. Kind of a review, probably more of a first impressions look. Derwent has been coming out uh, lately with all these uh, cool pan sets. And I'm making it sound like it's brand new. They're actually not brand new. They've probably been out a couple years. I don't know exactly. And there's some fascinating ones out there. They have an ink tense. They have a new mixed media one, at least new to me. They have a regular uh, watercolor pan set. They have a metallics one. So they've really kind of been putting some effort and thought into providing these pan sets for different applications. These were two, though, that really, really interested me. And I have them sitting here with these pencils because uh, they're related. Now, the only product here I've done a review on is this. The Graphitent set. Now, I really like these, but you'd never know it because I've only done, uh, I think, one piece on video. And that was one of the first product reviews I ever did on this channel. So we're going back seven years. Um, this was the piece. And as I look at this, I think, oh, man, I got to get those out again because I really enjoyed doing this. Graphitent has some unique properties. It is colored graphite or graphite mixed with paint. There is also this set. And I, I really love drawing sets that are for drawing and have a muted charcoal or graphite look to them because I do enjoy drawing so much. So when you have water-soluble graphite or graphite tint or charcoal, it kind of piques my interest. This has kind of been sitting in the wings too, you know, too many art supplies, too little time. I really have only just opened these. I uh, featured these on my holiday gift giving episode back in November of last year, but have actually not used them. Again, interested but just unable to uh, actually find something to do with them. Now, these here, the Graphitent 24 set, this is their full range. They also have a 24th uh, color range in this, but I only bought the 12. A lot of the colors seem redundant, and, and truthfully, it's true of this too. Uh, but the Graphitent 24, the Graphitent series, is like a watercolor pencil. This tinted charcoal is not a watercolor pencil, but what most people don't know is that charcoal is naturally water-soluble. In other words, if you put it down, it's soft and loose enough that if you put a wash over it, it travels with the wash as though it were a watercolor pencil. Kind of a unique thing. And so that brings me to the purpose of today's video and enter these two. The Tinted Charcoal Pan Paint Set and the Graphitent Pan Paint Set. Do they relate? What colors are in each? And how do they look? So let's take a look at the sets themselves. All right, here is the Graphitent pan set. Nice little plastic case. And their plastic cases are not like some. These are pretty heavy duty. Got some mixing wells over here. Here's the paint. As you look at it, uh, it's really hard to tell the colors. They, they have put this in there. Now I have found these, and I can go ahead and tell you up front, uh, to be a little inaccurate. If you're interested in this or the pencils, you need to make your own swatch chart. The pencils were literally horrible at identifying the color. For example, uh, this color right here, sage, it looks like a, a brown, kind of a Van Dyke brown or a burnt umber, really more of a yellow ochre. We'll look at some swatches in a minute. So uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, you will, if you want these a set of these or this, you will want to make your own swatch chart. Let's look at the colors in this set. Now these were the pencils. I swatched those out not too long ago, all 24 of them. And what I did is I went through and I asterisked the colors in the pencil set that are also in the pan set. All right, let's look at my swatches and their swatches. So autumn brown, that's pretty close. Uh, this was russet. The reason I crossed it out and put cool brown is I think they mislabeled it because that was the color. And when I compare that to the pencil, that's what it was. It was cool brown. So I don't know what's going on there, but that was not russet. <laughs> In general, these tend to be more vibrant than what they actually swatch out to be. So meadow green, green gray, slate green. Again, you can see uh, that sort of grayish graphite green, a little bit more uh, 
intense there. Ocean blue, steel blue, which, uh, I don't know. That's pretty close, I guess. They have a really dark here. Dark indigo, very vibrant here, not so much. Aubergine, which is uh, a slightly more purple. And then juniper. I would have thought juniper would have been sort of a blue-green, but they have it as a violet. Much less intense in reality. Port, which is more of a wine color, that makes sense. And graphite gray. Now, all of these colors were in the set, with the exception of graphite gray. And I say that only by name because uh, the pencil set had a warm gray that's almost identical. So it's kind of weird. It's like they can't make up their mind how to name these things. And you're going to see that even more so in the charcoal. Uh, what I thought of these, though, uh, I thought it was really neat. Uh, there was some granulation. I love the grade looks. I think that's just really cool. But I'm excited to figure out uh, some sketches or what I can do with these. And this is a nice little set carrying into the field. And I think that may probably be their intent. I don't know if they're necessarily saying, you know, use these with these or use these in conjunction with these. Although one of the reasons for me doing this review was because I had that very question. Is there any advantage to that and what would be uh, the benefits? All right, before we do any tests, let's look at the other one. Oh, and by the way, uh, in the set also comes uh, a water brush. It's kind of a neat little water brush. And it's very different than their other set of water brushes, which I have. Nice little compact. So they're they're obviously thinking in terms of a sketch set. A portable sketch set. This is what their other Derwent water brush looks like. Just a little longer, holds a lot more water. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, this does not fit in the slot here if you put it together. So if you are interested in keeping this set, uh, you fill this with water, make sure you keep this little stopper. Then you can separate the set and keep it in the pan. All right, on to the tinted charcoal. Now this was totally new for me. Uh, I've used charcoal, but I've never used tinted charcoal. I've used Faber-Castell's um, pastel pencils, which would be a similar consistency. Uh, so I'm anxious to try something with these. Same neat little set. It also came with a water brush. I've already taken that water brush out and filled it. A nice little compact dealie. You can almost tell no color by looking at the pans themselves. Really, uh, to be honest, their um, swatch thing was even less helpful <laughs> and i felt like it was pretty inaccurate compared to even the uh, graphitent and put this over a white background here are their swatches and here are my swatches one of the things you'll notice right away is this is a more grayer dingier dirtier look than the graphitent that's probably owing to the fact that there is charcoal in there which is softer and darker than graphite what happened to your face it's filthy it is yes and I expected that. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, again, you're going to want to make your own swatch chart. Now, just to reiterate something I said at the outset, this is the pencils. And pencils are naturally water-soluble. So while these are not water-soluble pencils per se, they will. They will move with water as if they were. And that's true of all charcoal pencils. Don't know if you know that or not. Just to illustrate, uh, here is an old General's charcoal pencil I've had for years and years. It's a 6B standard charcoal pencil. Let's take the little water brush. They work just like watercolor pencil. If you didn't know that about charcoal, well, you learned something new today. <laughs> so here was the interesting thing. Very few of the colors matched up, or only some of the colors matched up. So it seems evident to me that they're not relating these sets other than kind of the material description, you know, tinted charcoal. I thought it would have been a lot cooler if they had gone the extra mile to really match up these colors. Now, the graphite tint more so, there was only one color name that was different. The tinted charcoal, though, so we have sand. We have glowing embers. We did have a glowing embers, and they pretty much matched. We had a lavender, but no lavender in the pan set. We had a mountain blue, and that was uh, also in the pan set, so that was a matchup. Ocean deep, that was a matchup. Uh, dark moss, which is over here, that was a matchup. 
Driftwood, that was a matchup. Pete uh, was in the pencils, but not in this set. Natural, that was a matchup. Dark, which is just black. Burnt Embers was in the pan set, but not in the pencils. At least not in the 12 pencil set. Green Moss was not in the pan set. And Forest Pine in the pan set was not in the pencils. Anyway, all that just to say, they're not caring too much about the naming convention, apparently. If you're concerned about color and you want a balanced color palette, basically the same colors exist in both sets. Browns, reddish hues, blue-green hues, bluish hues, warm grays, cool grays. You'll find that in both sets, but they're not going to match up in terms of color which is just a little weird, okay? Again, I don't know that you would ever want to utilize the two of these in conjunction with one another, but the possibility, I think, exists and should exist. But I love the idea, and just the pan was alone as a set. Uh, I like them for the same reason I like the Graphitant. They're just a nice set of grays, a nice set of toned grays. And on their own, I think it would be cool to do some sketching with those. They had uh, granulation, perhaps even more heavy than the graphite. And I'm anxious to, to figure out some projects that I can do with that and this. All right, enough for swatching. If you have any questions about what's in the set, uh, put them down in the comments. Also, if you have any experience with these sets that you can share, I'd like to hear that as well. But let's play a little bit. I always think of, even if they're water soluble, I always think of, of pencils as drawing instruments. You're probably saying to that, uh, yeah, Steve, um, that's what a pencil is. Well, I mean, as opposed to a painting instrument, watercolor pencils, which while this is not a watercolor pencil, I'm thinking of it as that right now, tend to confuse people. It's like, do I paint with it? Do I draw with it? Well, it's your preference. I always tell people draw with it first. Don't worry about paint. Just draw, be linear with it. The same way you would with ink or maybe a pencil, you know, a graphite pencil. But just draw. Don't worry about the painting aspect. Charcoal pencils are a little different. You don't ever need water at all, just like a normal graphite pencil. But you can use it. So what can we do here? Well, I don't know. Um, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind would be use it as an underdrawing. Maybe tone with water if you want to. You don't even have to. How can you use them together? I'm thinking, well, just get it out the paint and play. Since in the swashes, thistle seems to be the closest. I'll come over here. Thistle and lavender are essentially the same. And using, you, you get a lot darker pigmentation, darker wash than you would uh, through the charcoal itself. But when I say using um, pencils as a drawing medium first, even if they're water soluble, because I like to see linear aspects to my drawing coming through. If you don't really like that, it feels too sketchy and unfinished to you, then don't do it. I mean, then just put down light enough pencil so that when you paint over it, I actually should be using this up here, so that when you paint over it, you don't see it. But to me, if you're going to use a pencil, it's nice to see some of those linear aspects. I love the look of pencil strokes, hatching, shading. So I'm always thinking, how do I combine that with watercolor? Which, if you saw my video a couple of weeks ago, you saw that. You saw me using graphite and then painting over it. And yeah, that led to... The idea is here in ordering these sets. Exploration, folks. It's all about exploration. One thing I've noticed about these charcoal sets here is these are incredibly thirsty. It's taking a lot of rubbing with a lot of water. I could probably get a brush with, regular brush with more water. But, I mean, this pan dries out almost instantly. It's just... Okay, all very impromptu, obviously. But that's what I would do with it. That's uh, probably the avenues I'll continue to explore is drawing with the charcoal and then uh, coming back and painting over it, allowing some of that charcoal to show. You can combine colors. I, I personally like the um, monochromatic 
possibilities. You know, drawing with one color or maybe two colors, maybe a warm and a cool. Come back afterwards, just like you would with an uh, ink pen. You know, line and wash ink pen. Add some more line work. Explore. Discover. Nice. This probably make a nice thumbnailing medium, too, for some landscapes that you want to do. Definitely want to take this into the field and try it. And go back in here and add this pan color maybe to some dry line and your paint will be there and it will also loosen up that charcoal. I'm not going to do a lot of painting or drawing tests with Graphitant. As I mentioned, I will put a link to this video and you can go watch this. So it's all done with Graphitant. It's a little more watercolor pencil like. I just want to stress that. If you go watch that video, you'll you'll find this was the black. And the most it turns out to be is a uh, a gray, a darker gray. Can you use the two together? So here's a Graphitent pencil. Most likely you're going to gravitate to one or the other. Charcoal or tinted graphite. And I think that's that's natural. And that makes a lot of sense. You don't have to figure out a way to combine all of these. I'm just doing this for curiosity's sake. And my philosophy in reviews has always been, maybe I'm showing you something that you don't want. For instance, if you're looking at the tinted charcoal, either the pencils or the pan, maybe now you're saying, yeah, yeah, I can pass on that one. That's what I'm here for, folks. But I just love playing with these things, and I have created a nice little messy, ugly tree. But it's always valuable to experiment and explore. All right, folks. Hope that... Uh, helps you if you've been interested in either of these sets. Again, if you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer them. If you have any experience, uh, painting experience, actually painting with these, also share that with us and let us know what you thought of them. But hopefully that gave you a better idea what they're about and how uh, they sort of distantly relate to the pencil sets. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much, patrons for your support of this channel. We'll see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.